This year, only a few veterans of the D-Day landings have travelled to Normandy to honour their fallen comrades on June 6. But since last year, this new memorial to the British dead has been erected. Its pillars are engraved with the names of the 22,442 British men and women who died in the landings and in the Battle of Normandy that followed in 1944. It also pays tribute to the 20,000 or so French civilians who died as their country was being liberated from the Germans. The UK had been the only country involved in D-Day not to have its own memorial in Normandy. One US Army veteran who is looking forward to Remembrance Day on Sunday said the locals don't forget the sacrifice he and his fellow soldiers made. In France, the people remember these men very, they held them close to their heart and they, re, they remember what they did for them and they were, I don't think the French people will ever forget. Each year there is also some fun to be had as a parade of vintage military cars passes by. Sadly, last year the parade had to be cancelled because of the pandemic. We missed it a lot. That's just fun, happiness and also being able to pay tribute to all the veterans. That's the main goal. 77 years later, D-Day still has enormous historical significance. It was the largest seaborne invasion in history and it marked the beginning of the end of World War II.